Welcome to the PV Designer video training series by Solmetric. This series consists of three video segments designed to introduce the Solar Photovoltaic System Designer to the benefits of the PV Designer software. This is part three, where we will add SunEye shade data to our design and then optimize the system. Finally, we'll generate a report suitable for inclusion in presentations and proposals. We'll launch the SunEye software choose a data set to work with, and then launch the PV Designer software from the session menu. What we see now is the completed design that we finished in part two. The next step is to import the shade data that was gathered on site with the Solmetric SunEye shade measurement tool. In the layout view, select the shading menu on the left. Then, drag and drop the skylines to their appropriate locations on the roof plane. Note that the Skyline thumbnail is displayed along with the X and Y position in the Properties area below the Array plane. It is important to note the location of the Skylines at the time you are taking the SunEye measurements. For our demo, we'll use the four corners of the roof area. In a practical application, additional Skyline measurements should be taken in the vicinity of obstructions or known shading elements to increase the accuracy of the model. When we select Show Insulation from the Insulation menu, the PV shading model is calculated, and the available solar access for this specific location is displayed graphically on the roof plane. The lighter the shade, the more sun hours are available for energy production throughout the year. Here, we can clearly see that moving the modules to the right of the roof plane will increase the system's overall energy production. To compare the effects of different system designs, including rearranging the modules on the roof plane, we can clone the existing design by clicking on the Create a Copy button. We can rename the new design and then make the desired changes. The software allows us to compare up to four designs. Now that we have a new design to work with, we can rearrange our two long rows into four short rows. This allows us to align more of the array against the right side of the roof plane where there is more insulation available. The result is a more efficient array that produces more energy for the system's owner. Now we have two different completed system designs. System design number one with two rows of panels and system design number two with four rows of panels. Let's review the results. The calculated energy production for each system is now available at the top of the screen in the results area. We can easily see that our optimized four-row system in the sunnier roof location is producing more AC kilowatt hours of energy than its two-row counterpart. To make these results available to salespeople and clients, there is a summary PDF option here in the upper right corner of the main screen that creates a PDF version of the report. The first page of the report can be customized with the name of the client as well as your name and company logo. The second page contains site and weather information, as well as a comparison of energy production for all included designs. An additional detail page for each design shows module location on the roof and color-coded graphical insulation data. The energy data is also available for export as a CSV file that can be opened and manipulated with a spreadsheet program. Hourly estimates can then be used for time of use analysis. This concludes our three-part training series on the PV Designer software. Solmetric is committed to ongoing feature enhancements of the PV Designer, so please check back on the Solmetric website for the latest details. A free 30-day trial of the software is available for download on the Solmetric website at www.solmetric.com. Thanks for watching and learning about the Solmetric PV Designer software.